this is the beginning it's here I'm getting ready to do 2022 contest this one I'm calling it to climb the highest mountain I'm gonna do five locomotives and I'm going to 100% scratch build them to include trucks frames everything gear train everything there, there are a couple things I'm allowed to be exempt, so I started a lab book. A couple things that that I am allowed to be exempt that I might take advantage of might be a bell, and might be some brake fittings. That's it. Everything else, got to do it myself. Five completely scratch built locomotives. So I went ahead, and started a lab book. Already started a couple things working on uh, what I think a fan housing might look like, or a fan housing and a, uh, a radiator fan housing and an air intake. Um, I started measuring up a couple of locomotives here with different widths and, and lengths and stuff so I can get an overall feel for how the frame is going to be. Did a little couple drawings of various fuel tank styles so far. But I expect this book is going to be mostly full by the time I'm complete. Now, to do this, I'm going to take advantage of every possible tool that I have and can. So, as you can see here, I picked three of these up at a train show and I've been saving them for a while. And they had been displayed at an outdoor train show, and this is the best of the three. I don't know if you can see how it's all warped. And, and uh, two Atlas and an Atherin, and they melted. They got hot under their covers, and they melted, and they're in rough shape. What I'm thinking of doing to start is, as you've seen me do before, I use a practice locomotive. And I've got these three. And I need to practice. I have to construct an entire entire shelf. And my idea is my prototypes are going to be from the future. I'm going to extrapolate what a future locomotive about 20, 30 years from now should be like based on the requirements that um, the Army has because the Army publishes their requirements, and I happen to have a field manual that has them in it, or a technical manual. And some of the things the railroads have asked for from locomotive manufacturers that have become news articles. I was going to use a chemical solution to melt this plastic and reform it back into place, but now I'm thinking, no, let's use this as a test bed. It's wrecked anyways. I've got more shells. Um, we're going to do some laser cutting acrylic. I'm going to cut out sections of this using, using these tiny razor saws I want to test. I'm going to cut out some sections, and I'm going to laser engrave and cut replacement sections. I'm not trying to make this look the way it would as if it was brand new or prototype again. I'm trying to see if I can get a cutout section in here and joined in any kind of a reasonable way. That's what we're going to do. We're going to strip this thing down. I haven't even looked under the hood. Oh, it's got Digitracks in it. Weird. Did not know that. Hmm. Didn't know that the shell came off like that easy either. Well, we'll dig into this thing. Let me get rid of some of this junk here. We'll, we'll, we'll take the weights. We'll measure how heavy these weights are. And if they aren't really, really heavy, we're going to get rid of them and use a few lead pieces. I don't know if there's any parts in this box. I don't know if it came with anything. Nope, not even instructions. So that's where we're going to start. That's what we're going to do with this project. We're going to start by testing some parts in order to fix up that shell. We'll rebuild this, and we'll be able to take measurements off this. And I think we might try uh, some lighting 
things on here now that we figured out how to use the tiny surface mount lights on the Ather Hustler. So this is it. Today it begins.